Yo, what is up everybody? Welcome to the channel. My name is John Slop and we're here to react to some more music. Dude, we have some Patreon requests. Thank you so much, Robert, for requesting this one. We have the El Obozo Suite from Chick Corea's album, My Spanish Heart. So this is four tracks off of the album and we're just going to dive right in. Dude, Chick Corea, Return to Forever, epic stuff, dude. So uh, we're just going to jump right on in. Patreon crew, let's take a hit. And then just get on into it, dude. El Bozo. Interesting title, dude. Of course, Bozo means like stupid, right? Fool. Idiot. Uh, I wonder I wonder who this suite is for, dude. So yeah, we have Prelude to El Bozo, which is the first track we're going to be jumping into. Then we have El Bozo Part 1 through Part 3. And, uh, you know, when did this even come out, dude? 1976, it seems like. Okay, and let's just do a personnel check, dude. Because, of course, it can't just be Chick Corea on this album, dude. No, we have Chick Corea, we have Stanley Clark, we have Steve Gadd, we have Naranda Michael Walden, Don Alias Jean-Luc Ponty. Okay, so I recognize Jean-Luc Ponty. I also recognize Stanley Clark, dude. He's a... Uh, he plays bass on this album. Uh, and then we also have Gail Moran on vocals. And then we have a string quartet, dude. We have Connie Kupka, Barry Shocker, Carol Mokogawa, David Speltz. And then we have a brass section, dude. Stuart Blumberg, John Rosenberg, John Thomas, and Ron Moss. So let me know what you have to say about this group of people. And we're just going to jump right on in, dude. Patreon crew. Let's take a hit and jump on into Prelude to El Bozo. Mm -hmm. Dude, I also forgot to mention it's Chick Korea on the keyboards here, dude. He is in full effect. Whoa, look at that. You see a cat? Coming into my room, you're gonna see your jump up onto the table here soon. There you go. Okay, well, just get back into it, dude. Start it over. Chick Korea, give us the keyboard magic. Dude, giving us a little bit of like dark aristocrat vibes. I don't know. Feels a little like, I don't know, Dracula-esque. Definitely aristocratic. I'm not sure though. Definitely has like a dark vibe. Let's get back into it. dude okay so that was the start to this whole thing dude wow let's just go back real quick wow beautiful beautiful piano work it sounds a little bit like mozart to me uh towards the end here let's go towards the end Ooh. really getting more into the heavy side the lower end of the piano this is so beautiful just amazing what one person's hands can do 
dude, create an entire wall of sound. Dude, the piano is a magical instrument. I just love it so much. Gosh. Gosh. So, wow, that this was the beginning to this suite. Uh, let's get into the second part of this suite. We have Elbozo Part 1. We listen to the prelude. In comes the rest of the band. It sounds like we're in like the magic swamp in Zelda or something, dude. It sounds a little ominous, little foreboding. I'm loving the tone on this on this keyboard though. Like what? <laughs> no, 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 dude. We're in full electric mode now. Nothing's gonna stop us. That was El Bozo Part 1, uh, kind of two separate like sounds in one. We had this jubilant opening, sounded really happy, upbeat, a lot of synth, dude, and then we go into this kind of somber, I'm going to use the word foreboding again, uh, just kind of off-putting, a little, a little sad, dude. Very interesting. I wonder what kind of story we're trying to tell here, dude. Let's just keep it moving. What do you think so far? We got a little bit more of the band in this one. Dude, that intro. Let's just listen to that intro one more time. It's just so funny. It's so, like, bouncy and... Oh, no. This is part two. Hold on. Let's go back real quick. Yeah, there we go. Dude, what is that? Is that that's probably just the keyboard, huh? It's probably not a Mellotron. Uh, well, let's see what Chicory is playing here. We have acoustic piano, Fender Rhodes electric piano, Yamaha electric organ, synthesizers. Uh, using an Odyssey, Mini Moog, Poly Moog, Moog Model 15, 
Uh, he's also doing percussion, vocals, production, arrangement. Okay, so, yeah, I think he's just doing some synth work here. It's a lot of fun. I like how just so eccentric it sounds. It's just, like, not afraid to be so bright and shiny, dude. That full end of the spectrum, this is like a bright and shiny opening. <laughs> Wow, duality. So, let's get back into it, dude. Part two of El Bozo. Dude, dude, am I playing Kirby and Dreamland on the Game Boy Color right now, dude? Am I playing Super Mario on the Nintendo? What is <laughs> what? What is this? I love, I love this. Uh, obviously, like craft work inspired. I actually don't know. This seems so, so unique. It sounds like we're underwater a little bit. I'm loving the little bloops and bleeps, dude. All the reverb. Let's just restart this whole mess, dude. <laughs> Dude, I love this. Dude, all these sine waves just reverbed the hell out. It just sounds so beautiful. I love his experimentation. Chick Corea, you're awesome, dude. This is some of my favorite stuff, dude. This is literally uh, like Return to Forever, Billy Cobham. It just all, it's, it's just all meshing together very well. Even getting some Frank Zappa vibes from this, it just seems so wild, so brave. Dude, this is literally like journeying into the unknown, dude. In music-wise, like, this must have been so weird for the time. Like, what did people think of this in 1976? I really, really got to know. Did you think this was weird? Did you like it? Uh, it obviously, it had to have been weird because it was not on the radio, right? Like, nothing was on the radio sounding like this. Just keep it going, dude. El Bozo Part 2. doubt Aphex Twin also listened to Chick Corea, right? Like, there's no doubt. This also is so inspiring. It makes me want to get on my music program right now and just start messing around with with different tones, different, uh, uh, you know, different levels of reverb, uh, different levels. It's just so fun. So fun, dude. Uh, he kind of made it like a smooth jazz thing going on at the end there. That was a lot of fun. 
just finding out how to make like different instruments with your keyboard. <laughs> this is so fun. I'm guessing, dude, this was all him too. I don't, I don't, I didn't hear any extra instruments. I feel like this was another track that was just Chick Korea layering on himself. So uh, another beautiful, beautiful addition to the El Bozo suite. Let's just, let's just keep it moving, friends. What So far, what is your favorite little, little part of each of these songs? Uh, for me, I'm just loving how creative Chick Korea is getting and how brave he is just making all these like, dude, for lack of a better word, a little silly, right? It reminds me so much of Frank Zappa, just the lightheartedness, the optimism, just not caring whether or not it sounds radio-friendly, pop, rockin', dude. Dude, Chick Corea can literally do, like, he can add his little flair to any genre. Let's keep it going, dude. Uh, El Bozo, part three. This has been such a treat. Thank you, Robert. Like, holy crap. It almost sounded like this last song was sung by, like, frogs. Dude, this is how I imagine frogs would be singing. <laughs> just like the bloops and bleeps of it all. I, I just love it so much. All right. Getting into part three. Here we go. There's also no doubt that Chick Corea inspired many video game soundtracks to come. Like the past few tracks, dude, parts one, two, and three have all sounded very like video game esque, especially part two. Uh, so I would not doubt, dude. Honestly, seventies progressive music did so much for the world, dude. I hear, I hear progressive soundtracks from like Yes. Rush, and I also hear their influence in video games across the decades, dude. You would not even, you would not even know, dude. Whoever's a video game player, you know, you know. Let's get back into this. I just love how whimsical it is, how much he's playing with the pitch, pitch shifter. It's very like, it's never just like a sharp beep, boop, boop, beep, boop. It's very wavy. Let's get into it. <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> yes. Dude, we're getting a bit of like Spanish influence in this. And to be fair, we have had a few, a little, little bits and pieces of like, uh, you know, Spanish Latin influence in, in these tracks. Uh, don't think I haven't noticed. And uh, I'm just loving this, dude. It's so danceable, but it's like he's creating his own like Mexican song out of just so many layers of keyboard. Dude, this is awesome. Let's keep it going. so good with that pitch shifter knob dude every every little boop is just so perfect it's almost like we have birds singing now i just love his tones dude this is just one of the, such a perfect this is such a perfect song what do you guys think so far dude this whole this whole el bozo suite dude this obviously isn't like what the whole album is like, right? There's probably some, there's probably a lot of different sounds on this. Uh, so let's just get back into this. Maybe we'll do the whole album at some point. Uh, but for now, let's just keep this one rolling, friends. <laughs> Good. That's how we end the song. The boop. Beautiful little flourish at the end. Boom. Doo -doo. Boom. Doo -doo. Doo -doo. Dude, this song is sick. I think this is my favorite part of the whole suite. Uh, just because Chick Corea knows how to resolve a melody so beautifully, it's just so catchy. Uh, I just loved it so much. Doo boom. Boo -boo. Dude, this song was sick. I can't wait to listen to it again. Couldn't help but dance towards the end. So much energy is erupting out of me right now. Gosh, we're going to be reacting to more songs, though. So, I just hope everybody really enjoyed this, dude. Uh, Robert Hassinger, thank you so much. Really appreciate you. Everybody on the Patreon crew, let me know what you think. Uh, Chick Corea, turning into one of my idols, dude. Like, I can't even help it. He's 
bringing out the Mexican in me. He's bringing out the Prague jazz fusion lover in me. And I just can't wait to get into whatever we listen to next from Chikoria. So thank you again, Robert Hassinger. This has been such a treat. Seriously, this type of music is like my favorite. The heavy electronic sound, the light and uh, uh, like optimism. Uh, it just sounds like, like we have different, like cartoon animals singing sometimes. Like in that last song, I was imagining birds for the higher notes. Do, do, do. Um, and then in the, I think part two, I was imagining like frogs singing. It's just so like fun and silly. Like, honestly, this is like instrumental music too. So kids would love this too. I don't know why I'm thinking about that, but... I'm just thinking this music is like so accessible to everybody since it's just like instrumental. Um, but I digress. I love this. Can't wait to listen to more. Even if it has lyrics, I'm down, dude. Vocals. I'm so down. But um, something special about prog, jazz, fusion, instrumentals that just always seem to blow my mind, dude. Uh, heavily inspiring. So again... Thank you so much, Robert Hassinger. Really appreciate you.